With 14 trophies already under his belt, it's no surprise Daniel Day-Lewis looks set to add an Oscar to his collection. The Brit star's role in There Will Be Blood sees him play an oil baron at the turn of the last century and has already won him a BAFTA. But Daniel says that's no guarantee of success come Sunday night. It doesn't work like that. No, it doesn't work like that. The Academy, just as BAFTA, the Academy is made up of an awful lot of people who uh, make up their own minds about things. Um, and uh, as I said, there are, you know, the, all the nominees are richly deserving um, this year. So, uh, of course, I'd be utterly delighted, but I uh, wouldn't be surprised whichever way it went. Competition comes in the form of George Clooney in Michael Clayton, a rather understated role in a complicated legal drama. It's the biggie for George, who's already got an Oscar for his best supporting role in Syriana. Outsider is Tommy Lee Jones in The Valley of Ella, and Viggo Mortensen's turn in the violent David Cronenberg movie Eastern Promises that sees Viggo adopt a rather dodgy Russian accent. All right, you sir, how about a shame? Perhaps Daniel's biggest threat comes from Johnny Depp in Sweeney Todd. His role in Tim Burton's musical could be a surprise winner, and we know how much Hollywood loves its musicals. But Empire Magazine's Helen O'Hara says Daniel's practically got it in the bag. Daniel Day-Lewis is the one person I would say looks like a shoe in this year at the Oscars. Um, anybody else is pretty much, you know, there, there's room for guesswork. But I would say that if, if Daniel Day-Lewis doesn't take home Best Actor at the Oscars, everyone's going to fall over in shock. One thing's for sure, it's a nerve-wracking night for all involved. Last year's winner, Forrest Whitaker, says it can all be a little overwhelming. I really wanted to be present. That was my big thing, because you never know what's going to happen. You don't know if you're going to win or not. But what you do know is you have a moment, and so I try to take in the moment. If Daniel does score a victory for Britain, it will be his second Oscar to date after winning back in 1990 for My Left Foot.